Hi everyone, check out this beautiful alpine lake. I'm at about 10,400 feet in the mountains of northern Utah. Beautiful place up here. This lake is full of arctic grayling. I've been here for about one minute. I've seen a dozen grayling already in the water. There are a ton in here. I love catching grayling. They're the fish with the big, the big blue dorsal fin on the back. Beautiful fish, fun to catch. I try to fish for them at least once a year, sometimes in lakes, sometimes in streams. Today, I'm going to fish this lake behind me here. Wish me luck. Okay, I've got the Daiwa Sigiri 45 MC with a 12 foot line on it. I mean, the, the fish are so close in here that I'm seeing. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, all the, all the rings coming out here. But um, I figured I don't need like a 15 foot line on this, even though this rod can go out to about that far. Let's cast out. Whoa, yep, first cast. It's about what I was expecting. And it is a grayling. I don't think there are any fish in here but grayling. That fin, can you see that? I'll give you a closer look at some that I catch later. I'm sure I'm gonna catch plenty right here. So let's just have fun catching and then we can take a look, uh, take a closer look at some of them and just enjoy being out here. Got one. Yeah, there are not gonna be, I don't think there are big grayling in here, but numbers. We're gonna get numbers today. Awesome. Next cast. These are skinny fish. There are lots of fish in here. I mean, grayling are usually pretty skinny, but you know, I'm sure you can understand that with all the fish in here, they're looking for any, anything they can eat. I don't know if you can see this guys, but I mean, we're just, the entire lake is boiling here. There are a lot of fish in this lake. Got one. And there's some lakes that are like this for trout too. Like I know for a fact up here, I mean, there are, there are brook trout lakes, there are cutthroat lakes, rainbow lakes, there are tiger trout up here. This is awesome. <laughs> Ooh, I saw that one go. Just shot, shoot right up, rocket straight up. From the depths. I mean, it's only like a couple of feet deep out there, but still, I mean, that's why I could see it. Okay, let's get you guys a closer look at this fin. This one has a really pretty dorsal fin. You see that? What an amazing fish. So cool. Fish on. I mean, it's just like shooting fish in a barrel. Very nice. I mean, these are all basically clones. They're like carbon copies of each other. Got one. 
All of these fish have been from the same spot. I have not moved. And I could probably catch a hundred fish from this spot if I wanted to. See you, buddy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just like I'm seeing the line move and then I set the hook and they're not there. They're just that's a fish. You know, it's fun to fish creeks. It's fun to fish rivers. And that's where Tinkara really shines, you know. Tinkara is mountain stream fishing for trout. It doesn't mean it's not effective for other types of fishing though. Like lake fishing for grayling, all day. It was about a seven mile hike to get back in here. This is definitely not a roadside attraction. There's no one else fishing out here. It's just beautiful and calm. It's a perfect day to be out here. A little bit cloudy. Oh, that was a fish. Whoa! There we go. Took a few attempts. This is the kind of lake you need to bring kids to or like your, your reluctant fishing spouse to. Because I mean, they're going to catch a lot of fish. They're going to have a lot of fun. See you, buddy. Love it. You love to see it. You love to hear that line go tight. You love to set the hook and feel something, feel resistance. See ya, buddy. That fin. Ooh. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's go down another hundred feet. There are thousands of fish in here. These are very feisty fish. I think grayling have have a reputation for being, you know, like once you get them hooked, they just kind of roll over and die. But man, these are these are feisty little suckers. They put up a fight. This one's a little bit longer. There's that fin again. Mosquitoes are starting to get to me. A few have found me and then they tell their friends and then before you know it, I'm the biggest attraction in town here. That might be the biggest one. That's like a 10 incher. Nine or 10 inches.
Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, this one has a pretty fin, pretty blue fin. It is surprisingly hard to do this one-handed. To first wrangle the fish and then show you the, the fin. <laughs> Nice. Okay guys, let's get one more out of here. There it is. Come here. There we go. So this is fish number 30 in like 45 minutes. And that includes time that I took to film and uh, I took to have a snack. Like you could easily catch a fish a minute here. Just unreal fishing. Again, shooting fish in a barrel. This is easier than shooting fish in a barrel. Because with shooting fish in a barrel, you would have to aim. <laughs> with this, you don't. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally, I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures. If you wanna check that out, links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.